Okay, should we go dark now?
Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new episode of Hashtag Playing Together with a new guest. Hello, uh, we are the Sudden Lot and today we have Peg playing with us. Hi Peg. Hi. Tell us, uh, tell us where are you zooming in from? Uh, from Marshfield, Massachusetts. How's the weather there? First question. Uh, cool and rainy. Okay, that's, oh. that's the perfect weather for a nap. <laughs> yes, <laughs> or playing. Yeah. You were just telling us that you live very near the coast, near the ocean? Yes, I live very close to uh, the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic, okay. And is so that some... We don't get terrible winters and we get a uh, little bit of cool breeze in the summer, so it's, okay. it's not too bad. Uh, and is, is, it a, some... is it a good place for surfing? Uh, yes, there are a lot of people that uh, that do surfing, and they have a surf shop right in town that is a very big deal. They have a summer festival usually with lots of rock groups that come in, and it's it's known pretty much throughout the country. Yeah. But unfortunately, they had to cancel it this year yeah. because of COVID yeah, last absolutely. year and this year. Yeah. yeah. That sucks. Do you have sharks there? We do. We do. Like dangerous, <laughs> big sharks? Yes. Yeah? Wow. Especially, uh, sometimes off our coast and down down the Cape, Cape Cod. Uh, we've had, unfortunately, a few incidents of that. So it is scary. Okay. So I don't like to swim as much as I used to. No, no, yeah. I, yeah. No, I just have thinking about Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> about the movie. Yes. <laughs> oh dear, yeah. We're uh, also very close to Plymouth, Massachusetts, which has some interesting history. So we get lots of visitors from all over the world okay. uh, during the summer and sometimes to my town as well. Yeah. Okay. And what type of history um, do you have? Yes. Tremendous amount of history in Boston and all over the area. Okay. Uh, we have a model of the Mayflower in Plymouth. Yeah. It was built like the ship that originally came to America. Yeah. Oh, nice. So there's a lot of fun things to see. <laughs> Good. Okay. And play with the sharks. <laughs> play with the sharks and go whale watching too. <laughs> whale watching. Oh, God. Yes, that's a big thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's all sorts Very of things, all sorts of things. I guess we like to do one day. Yeah, <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> so let's do some improv. Yeah, good idea. Sounds good. Yeah, so uh, let's take a suggestion from the hat, from the magical hat, um, and then we'll see. Okay, drum roll. <laughs> Okay, it's a suggestion from Pierre Paolo Busa from uh, Impro Brussels. And it's a, it's a location. Mm -hmm. It's the foyer of the Royal Theatre of Opera of Stockholm. Okay. <laughs> very, very specific. Okay, okay. so the Royal Theatre of Opera okay. of Stockholm. Stockholm. And it's in the foyer. Oh, it's just a suggestion. So. Um, Okay. Let's have some fun. Fire. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Yeah, and the, there is a balcony. Yeah. Let us see. Mm. No, you are on the second floor. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I have seat S53. S53. I don't think we have S53. Let me let me check. S53. Oh, we 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 do have S53, but uh, we usually don't sell the you know tickets for s53 because okay here's it says this seed it's it's hunted oh 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 uh yeah no i don't like hunted seeds in the opera i have very bad experiences with hunted seeds yeah someone was uh, decapitated there like yeah. two centuries ago and uh 
you know, the the other day I was in the in the Royal Opera Theatre of Helsinki, and um, I also I was on seat. I still remember A fifty one, yeah, and that was a haunted seat as well, yeah. But oh, what happened? Well, I, I I lost my foot. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's not you a. Found you found it. You found it back, or it's. No, no, it's a. Uh, it's a prothesis. It's it's not not ah, real okay. anymore. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I went to um, the opera in Brussels as well, and that oh. was seat X Y Z. Yeah, X Y Z. Yeah, uh, I lost my elbow. Yeah, yeah. It's to see. It's uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you look vaguely familiar to me. How okay. come? I don't know. I just have a vague feeling, a sort of déjà vu, that I that I've seen you before. It's possible, I guess. Why not? Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I, I'm going to S fifty three then. So where, where? Are you sure? Yeah. Maybe. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, the, the guy who died there two, uh, two centuries ago, he he lost his head. I mean, if you lose your head, I don't think you can replace it with another one. Do you think you have another seat for me then? No, we are full, and we don't give money back. Well, I really have to see this play. Yeah, Götter Dimmerung. I mean, I love it so much, so I like to see uh, it. Just an advice: in case you feel that someone wants to decapitate you, mm -hmm. maybe switch places with your neighbor. Yeah, yeah. With, uh, with, I hope you you have a nice neighbor. Yeah, S S fifty two or S fifty one. I think I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, many thanks. Uh, uh, excuse me. Yes, yes, yes. I have a, a, a seat in S52. Oh, okay. Yeah, the gentleman is right next to you. Uh, oh, fine. I, I love having company when I come to the opera, you know. Yeah, he, he seems very nice, very positive person, you know. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I'll have some company to watch the opera with then. Yeah, great. Would you like some peanuts? You can eat them oh, before sure. the show, okay? Thank you. Yeah, uh, the, the, the guy, he might ask you to switch places at some point, and you seem like a nice lady, so... Oh, is there an obstructed view or something? Yeah, for a while, and then no view anymore. <laughs> oh, that sounds a little <laughs> intriguing. Yeah, yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah. He, he he got himself a ticket for a very special seat, but it's opera. I mean. Oh yes, yes. Well, as long as I can see it, yeah. You know, as long as I have a view, you know. Yeah. So yeah, good luck. Uh, yeah, I'll see you, one of you, yeah, at least later. Uh, yes. Uh, well, I'll try to. It's such an exciting opera. I'll try to try to keep my. Uh, my uh, emotions to myself. I keep your head in into the, the opera. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll certainly try to keep my head in the opera. Thank you so much for your, for your assistance. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, just come in. Yeah, just yeah. S S fifty two. It's it's just right here, just right here. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi, Mark. I'm I'm Connie. Do you come to the opera often? Yeah, yeah, I uh, I do. And you? Uh, yes, yes. Every every season, I come come at least six times. Whoa! Always here in uh, Stockholm. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I I love to, myself to go to operas all over the world. Yeah. Yes, so do I. Yeah. So okay. I. But it's so dangerous, Connie. You know. I lost my foot in Helsinki. I lost my elbow in Brussels. It's uh, it's really tricky, yeah. Do you have the same experience? Of course. My goodness, do you have some kind of medical condition? Ah uh, no, yeah, it just happens uh, in the opera. <laughs> I always they always have to call the ambulance for me, and they have to bring me to the hospital. <laughs> goodness, uh, but, are you sure you're going to be okay through the performance? Well, I I hope so. I hope so, Connie. Ah, uh, Connie, you, you look vaguely familiar. Yes, you do too. <gasps> I am. 
Maybe, Maybe I've, I've seen, seen you in another opera. opera. Could be. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, which uh, opera piece you really like? Oh, Aida is one of my favorites. Aida. Oh. Yes. Oh, I think I've seen it dozens of times. Dozens oh, of times. Me too. I me especially too. liked the performance in Rome. Yes, yes, I was at that. Have you seen it there in Rome too? Yes. Oh, I've seen it there. yeah, with that famous singer. Um, oh, what, what was his name? Um, Pavarotti? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then, then, of course, Figaro. Figaro. Oh my God. Yes, I saw that in in Rome. In Rome too. Yes. Oh, I must say the most ideal experience I had was in Venice. Um, it was an open air opera. Whoa! I love so I love beautiful. Venice. So so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Um, and no injuries in Venice. No injuries at all. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No injuries. I. I wonder uh, you perhaps should see a doctor if you're that injury prone yeah yeah perhaps uh, well i'll try to watch out for you while you're at the okay, opera but I, I have to put my attention on the opera so i can only do so much of course oh yes i will I'm, talk to you later at the intermission time yeah that's good okay you can tell how exhausted I am. I've been working here for almost 200 years. I cannot get old and I'm not sure but I think uh, it will be difficult for me to you no know, pass away. I take care of the ghosts here. There are a lot of them. Some of them want a revenge about something they are not sure about what themselves. Shara. Some of them are just hungry for blood, even though they cannot eat. And some of them just like hanging around for for years. I am so exhausted of being a human. I think I deserve to be a ghost. I don't see purpose anymore. I want to go to the other side and relax and give people a good scare. Yes. We did make that happen. When, when? Like when? when? What else do you need? I do everything. I bring people. I I sell tickets for S53 and you haven't decapitated anybody since 200 years. We will do this. Trust us. Please. It's, oh, it's taking too long. Whoa, I mean, that first part of the opera, I mean, that's really touching. Yeah, it, it really touched my heart. It's, uh, it's really amazing. What do you think, Goni? Did you liked it? I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. It was just everything I had hoped for and more. And more. I mean, the voices were, were just perfect, pitch perfect. It, yeah. It Exactly, and, and and but everything, the decor, the props, everything was so perfect, perfect, perfection, perfection. God of them, oh God, and, and 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 the way they pronounce and they sing, oh. magnifique, magnifique. Now, um, I must say, I, I'm so pleased that that we've met. Um, I think I think we have a very good connection, yeah. I mean, if I'm, my family, no one is interested in opera, and and I I think it's so nice to be able to talk to someone who has the same feeling and the same passion as myself. Well, since my my late husband passed away, oh, I have been going by myself, oh, I, so it's wonderful to have company. I'm I'm sorry to hear that. He was an opera fan too. 
He was. Yeah. He was. Warm peanuts. War oh, hi there. Hi. Hello. Your head is still connected to your body. Um, yes. Do you think we have, have to change place already? I don't know, it's up to you. I'd like to have some peanuts, please. Uh, Connie, do you like to have some too? Yes, I'd love some peanuts. Yeah, okay, for two. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. How do you like the... Oh! Oh, oh, unbelievable. Magnifique. Magnifique, magnifique. Yeah. Perfection. Yeah. The course. Do how people die on stage and it looks so real yeah. with all the blood? Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. 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 I, I I was almost convinced that it was real. I mean, the way that they did that death scene, it was like... Oh. It was oh. like he lost his head. Oh. I mean, the death scene, that was even better as in Washington when I, when I saw the play there. Yeah, Whoa. yeah, yeah. Much better, it's, much better. You see, I, I wanted to, to, to become part of the team, of the actor team, and I went on stage like 20 times and tried to die there, but apparently uh, I'm not good in that. Do, do you do opera? I can do everything if, if needed. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, amazing. So why don't you try again? I mean, if, if that's your passion, just try I again. Yeah, yeah, I, I would love to do a, like big change in my life. See, yeah. working here is not like a dream. Yes, you could be an opera star. You could do anything you set your mind to. Yeah, yeah there are people who tell me that sometimes. Yeah. Have you... Have you ever watched the play from the start to the finish? Because I saw you running around here selling selling all sorts of sweets and everything. No, no, no I haven't seen the play like like never. Oh. But you should you should join us. So yeah. Not... yeah. Yeah, but there is no empty seat. Well, Where can I see? You can use my seat, S fifty three. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Very nice. The curtain. Yes. They call the curtain. I I'm okay. going in the foyer, yeah, because, yeah, I, I mean, the first part was already so emotional, mm -hmm. yeah, but, but, yeah. but, uh, yeah, just take my seat oh, and enjoy the play. gentleman you are. I hope you'll be back, though. I really want to consider our conversation. Yeah, me too, Connie. Okay. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your seat. Yes, what did you say your name was? Uh, sorry, my, my name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth, yes, yeah, so it's so nice that you have a chance to finally see the opera. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I know all of the actors. It's wonderful, but it's different when you watch them. Yeah, um, it's, it's nice. And this is, this is a really special section. I mean, look at the view that we get of the whole stage. It's yeah. These are the best seats in the house, you know. <laughs> see, this guy, he's a dancer. And in a minute, he will perform like a, a dance with swords and an axe. It's a very good one. Okay, I'm, I'm so anxious to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Voila. It's starting. Hmm. The curtain opens. The music is starting to play. The drums are in the theater. The actors are on stage and they start to sing. The two people in seats, S53 and S52, are fascinated by what's going on on the stage. A man with an enormous axe <laughs> turns it around and around and around and around until the axe flies out of his hands directly to seat S53 and the head rolls off. Elizabeth, do you like this show? Elizabeth. I'm here. I'm here. I liked it. Yes, I'm here. Elizabeth, you look, you look a little pale. My my hand goes to your body. Oh, oh my 
are you viewing? I'm floating. I can Oh, oh the other, other people, people cannot, cannot see me. Can you, can you see, see me? me? Where, where, where did you go? go? Oh, I was here. And, and then, then I wasn't. And now oh, I... she, she, she must have had to get back to work. I know it's it's hard to watch the show when you're actually responsible for selling uh, peanuts and things you know, like that. I will not be able to go back to work anymore. But I need someone to do that for me. And uh, that, that has, has to, to be you. I hope my friend comes back. back. I'd like to have you some will company. never be able to leave the opera. I'm sorry. Oh, there you are. Hi. Yeah. How was Act Two? Yes, it was. It was great. Elizabeth couldn't stay for the whole act, though. I think she had to get back to work. Oh. Okay. I can't see her any everywhere there's nowhere really. Maybe, I, maybe she went back down to the stage. Perhaps, yeah. I hear the drums when I was in the foyer, yeah. Yes, it was oh it was Loud. so realistic. It was like it was, it was like the axe was coming toward the audience. It was just so realistic. Yeah. Yeah. You look too bad you had to miss the best scene of the opera. Yeah, right? could be, could be. Um Connie, you, you look a bit different. I do? Yeah. I don't know what. I feel just so lighthearted. Yeah. Why are you holding the tickets? You're holding tickets. She's the manager now. You have a little voice. You have a little plate there. Manager of the opera. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you worked here. My goodness. I don't remember getting a job here. Oh. I guess if I work here, I could see all the operas for free. Of course. That's a good idea. Oh, that yeah. sounds like a good idea. I've been looking for a way to spend my time. Yeah. I guess you don't never have to leave the building again then. Never, 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 never. That sounds intriguing. I hear voices, actually. Yeah, okay. Did you hear that voice? No, I don't hear anything. I'm sorry, Connie. Um, I heard a voice saying, never, 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 Oh, never. I see. You hear voices, yeah. Um, okay. Um, some people left there. Let's see, A15, I say. I'm going to A15, if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm going to miss you, though. It's been so much fun talking with you. Yeah, <laughs> of course, but... Uh, Hmm. I'm, uh, yeah, I have to go. All right. Well, the next time you're in the area, I guess I'll see you if I'm going to be here for a while. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Okay. Okay. <laughs> bye, so nice to meet you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Manager of the opera. Hmm. It sounds like it could be fun, actually. I better go down to the lobby and see what's going on. End scene. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> 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 what a lovely story. Yeah, yeah. A little ghost story. <laughs> uh, you will never be able to leave the building anymore. <laughs> For 200 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so, Peg, uh, tell us more about you and uh, how did you start, it, uh, did you start uh, doing the improv? Well, it's kind of strange. I have been doing improv for about four and a half years. But prior to that, I was a clown uh, for about the past seven years. And it was something I decided to do when I... Uh, retired from a real job and I went to clown school in Plymouth which is run by the Shriners organization mm -hmm. and I got hooked on it it was so much fun so I actually have uh, uh, done performances with full makeup and costume um, a lot of festivals and corporate 
functions and picnics and some birthday parties. And then I decided to get into improv because one of my friends was involved in that. So there was a school of improv in Boston, actually in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So I applied for a scholarship. They had one scholarship for somebody over a certain age. And I received the scholarship and I started going to classes and I got totally hooked on it. So I've been doing that for a few years. And then, of course, uh, last year during COVID, they had to discontinue the classes. And I discovered that in one of my online classes, I met somebody by the name of Mickey Manting who had uh, started this organization called Vintage Improv. And I have been taking classes with them online for over a year. We have some of the best instructors in the country and even in the world. Uh, we've had people from everywhere, you know, from uh, the UK, from India, from um, Brussels, I'm sure, and all different locations. And we've developed a whole community of people, and I'm actually currently in two troops that uh, practice regularly. Mm -hmm. One is called Timeless, and we perform a devised world comedy at a place called the Double Nickel Lounge. Wow. which is a traditional <laughs> bar in Davenport, Iowa. <laughs> okay. And we have all kinds of episodes, and we perform at least once a month at the Vintage Follies, which is on Facebook okay. under the Vintage Improv site. And then I'm in another group called Naked Mitten, and we developed our own long form, and we've done a couple of shows. So it's a combination of scenes and monologue yeah. and garlands so we have a set form we have three scenes divided by each scene divided by a monologue and then we have a character garland and then we have a set of scenes that wagon wheel from those and then we end it with a thing garland so <laughs> discipline but it's still pretty free form we have a lot yeah. of fun with it and how many people uh, are there in a group uh, in my timeless troop there are five of us and we each have set parts. I am Frida Conchita, the waitress, and I will show you what I look like. I have... Uh, oh my god! Oh nice! Oh! <laughs> Frida. That's great. <laughs> and then we have uh, a bar owner, and we have a um, bartender who is a philosopher. Yeah and a DJ and a booking agent. Okay. And we have these strange situations that we all get into, and we have distinct personalities and uh, conflicts and fun. And, and then in oh, Naked Mitten, we just do whatever the suggestion, wherever the suggestion takes us. So it will, every time it's a different story, basically with these set characters, yes. and you do something completely different based on the suggestion. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. We don't take a suggestion for uh, for the double nickel because we just develop something mm -hmm. yeah. you know, within ourselves. Yes. But for my other troupe, we do take suggestions. But they're all so different and they're so much fun. And I love taking from different instructors. Yeah. Uh, uh, taking classes from Michael Gilman. I've taken classes from David Rizowski, Second City. Uh, Jules Munns from yeah. the nursery in the UK. And uh, just countless others that I can't mm -hmm. even... One of the big advantages of online improv, yeah, is that you can do that right now, yeah. <laughs> yes, people that I never would have met. In our troupe, we have people from, I'm from Massachusetts, so somebody from Philly, Philadelphia, uh, somebody from Tucson, Arizona, somebody from South Carolina. So we're from everywhere, and we have never met in person, and yet we play very well together because we have so much fun <laughs> and uh, how, how long do you play already together um how long for the set or how long we've been together yeah timeless for example how long um we've been together about uh seven months Whoa. maybe okay wow that's, that's good. Good. Yeah. yeah yeah wow then you know each other very well and you can yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah. trust each other yeah, yeah. Well, we've never met in person we know <laughs> we know what each other is capable of <laughs> and how we play. Yeah. So, uh, Pech, what's the um, meaning of improv in your life? Um, I'd say it's taken a pretty central part of my life because I don't think that I would have gotten through COVID um, as well as I have. Yeah. 
uh, even though I spend a lot of time sitting in front of the tomb, it's actively exercising my mind. So uh, it keeps me involved. It keeps me youthful because we're always playing. <laughs> And it's been a real inspiration to meet some of the people that, I, that I've had a chance to play with, including Desi and, and yourself. Uh, so it's opened up whole new worlds for me in meeting people that I never would have had a chance to meet. And I hope that even after improv goes back to live classes that we will continue this community, yeah. this worldwide community that has been such a blessing to all of us. Yes, yeah. And we've discovered new ways to take this art form and, and really have fun with it and share it with people. So I think it's an exciting time of life, and it's nice when something good comes of something so terrible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, like uh, like shows, like improv shows, like our show today. Mm -hmm. Something, something good. <laughs> I hope. Yeah. Do you, would you I, like? I enjoyed. I enjoyed your class so much. We had so much fun with that doing Chekhov plays. So improv can be serious. It can be funny. It can be any combination. Yeah. Yeah. Or any kind of theater, really. Yeah. And it's nice to be able to try all of them out and try to see what mm -hmm. things you like and. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or discover just new things by trying them out yeah and that's uh, yeah yeah we have so many opportunities nowadays to do that because very often in, if, if you're living somewhere you have perhaps a local theater and they have a certain style and you don't have the ability to discover mm -hmm. other things um, right it, yeah so right you get you get just sort of pigeonholed into one style mm -hmm. and this way you get to explore so many different philosophies yeah. like Jonathan Pitts the the mm -hmm single plays and Dave Rosowski who has a much different take than somebody else would. Liz Allen is another one of my favorite classes. We have had so much fun in her class and that's the class in which we developed this Naked Mitten and she's just uh, a joy to work with. If you haven't uh, discovered her you should definitely look yeah. her up. Yeah. Okay. Do you think you would like to continue with uh, some online info one day when everything is back to normal? Definitely. I intend to because it opens up additional worlds. Even when I'm uh, resuming my classes with Improv Boston, which will start out online and then go to in person, I still want to do the online because I get to meet so many more people yeah. from uh, all parts of the world. And I've been able to, uh, to meet new friends that I never met before. Yeah, what a great opportunity. Yeah. It really has been. And in your bio, you wrote that your granddaughter, I believe, um, started with her first improv course. Yes. <laughs> she, she finished her first course, and she's having a great deal of fun with it. One of my friends is teaching it. Yeah. And I just signed her up for the second course in it. She just started again on Monday. Yeah. And she's having so much fun. They do imitation commercials ah. and... Uh, <laughs> just allows her to be so creative too yeah and she has so much fun with it so I'm hoping that she's going to continue on yeah. with it uh, she always used to help me out with my clowning too so she learned how to do simple balloon animals and uh, she just enjoys hanging out with grandma when I'm doing some of my crazy things <laughs> I think that's just lovely that you both have also the same hobby yeah, you, know, you, you both yes. are doing improv. Uh, I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Yes, my my daughter really has nothing to do with it, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Annie wants to hang out with grandma. That's, that's <laughs> and, and how old is your granddaughter? She's eleven. Wow, yeah. and she's already. That's good. Yeah, she's already playing with with improv, and and uh, Michelle, my friend who was her teacher, said that she's really shown some some sense of fun and creativity already <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i may sign her up for some additional classes if if she outgrows these yeah uh, you can even do a duo yeah <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow that would be nice <laughs> okay. thank you very much for, for yes. playing with us well, thank you so much for having me. It's it's been a pleasure, and it's great to see you again, Desi, and 
and nice, nice to meet you too, well. Johan. Yeah, it's very nice to meet you, Pech. Um, if you want, just send us a few links about Timeless and uh, the other things you're doing, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. or when you have a, or when you have a new show. Yeah, you have the monthly shows. Uh, send us the links and we put them also on our page and uh, sure. yeah uh, I can put them in the chat oh yeah guess. of course yeah that would be good then uh, let me copy them and then uh, yeah we put them on the page and so if people want to find you how do that can they do that best yes first I'll put my uh, my email in <coughs> And I might have to look for the link, so if I can't get that right away, then I will certainly send it to you. Oh, okay. yeah, it's coming in, yeah. But if you go into YouTube and look up, uh, let me just do this, YouTube, and look up Timeless, Double Nickel. Double Nickel. It should take you to that page. And we play the first Sunday, first Sunday of every month at Vintage Improv Follies. And they have a Sunday show every week. And we are always in the first Sunday of the month. We have uh, one of the three sets will be our group okay vintage on, on the youtube channel we have about 15 episodes of everything that we've done because every oh, time we okay. do a practice yeah we record it and we put it up on the youtube channel so if you want to find out <laughs> yeah if you are if, so yeah. if you want to find out what we've been up to so far yes it'll give you a head start on getting to know our characters oh yeah yeah. Um, and, and I'll tell you just briefly, we have the five, five characters. characters. The bar owner, Frank Connor, is a real gem. gem. He's, He's very, very talented. And so is the um, booking agent, <laughs> uh, Rick Horner. Yeah. He's our Zook. Oh, Rick, and I think you, I Rick am, was uh, with us. Frida Conchita, that's my name. Yeah. And we have Patty Lowry, the bartender, and she. Uh, has a degree in psychology, but she's tending bar. Okay. And then we have a DJ who's very shy, who he and Patty sort of have a crush on each other, but they never seem to get together. <laughs> They're always sort of just missing each other. <laughs> uh, that's a nice thing, a uh, thing between characters. And if you see that in every episode, you... Uh, so we all know how to kind of, you know, either push it one way or push it the other way. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, well, we are going to put them on uh, on our Facebook page, uh, so yeah, people can yeah. easily find that bank. Well, that'd be fine, and we hope to hope to see you among the audience. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of fun doing it. We really like sharing it with everybody. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Pech, Many thanks that you uh, wanted to play with us. Um, yeah. Sure. I'd love to do it again. So good. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Definitely keep in touch with me and let me know what you're doing. Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't go away yet. I will bring us offline and then sure. uh, we can have a little chat uh, still. So uh, everyone watching, uh, many thanks. I'll see you. Thank you. See you Thank soon. You. Yeah. See you. Yeah.